The movie begins with the original Teen Titans, consisting of Dick Grayson as Robin, Speedy, Kid Flash, Beast Boy, and Bumblebee, about five years ago. They all talk about pizza and long drives whenever they decide to go somewhere. One day, they go on a similar ride and enjoy their time together. But just then, they are startled to see a girl being attacked by aliens. Flash thinks something is wrong, and goes to investigate what is going on. The five sense that an attack is happening, and so they go to fight the aliens back. The Titans eventually manage to save the extraordinary girl. That's when she tells them that her name is Coriander and she's from the planet Tamarin. She goes on to add that she was a princess on her planet until everything got destroyed. Coriander goes on to claim that her sister has taken the throne and killed everyone who was against her in the present in order to save her life and return soon. After rescuing Coriander, who's also known as Starfire, the Titans include her in their gang. They learn that the aliens were captors sent by her evil older sister, Blackfire, who staged a coup and took the throne forcibly. As she can no longer return to her world, the Titans offer her a home on Earth. In addition, one of the Titans, Dick, ends up falling in love with Starfire at first sight. His feelings get even deeper when she kisses him to learn English. Soon after, Starfire becomes a prominent Titan who also fights crimes and aliens to save the Earth. The scene shifts to the present, where a large building can be seen between two islands. This is where Brother Blood and his wife are constructing a lab to take blood and create a powerful living god. While on this journey, Deathstroke informs Brother Blood that the Titans will arrive soon. Blood is happy to hear the news. On the other hand, Dick Grayson, now known as Nightwing, rejoins the Teen Titans. He wants to track down a terrorist cult led by Brother Blood, who plans on capturing the team in order to absorb each of their unique abilities with the help of a machine. Completely unaware of Blood's plan, the Titans venture off into Brother Blood's building in order to find out the truth. However, they believe it will be very difficult to climb that building. That's when Starfire tells Nightwing that Terra, a new member of the Titans, will assist them in reaching their destination. The Titans finally arrive at the base and fight all their enemies. Brother Blood and his wife, Mayhem, take this opportunity to run away while the Titans continue to fight with the Blood robots present there. Nightwing manages to gather all the data from Brother Blood's third base, and the Titans proceed from there. Nightwing takes one of the Titans' buildings and hands over the key to Starfire. He tells her that they can all share the place. The Titans continue to have a good time in the building. In their spare time, they enjoy playing games with one another. Starfire continues to practice, while Beast Boy is busy admiring Terra. Jamie, another one of the Titans, speaks with his family. It seems that his family is in really bad condition. Because of this, Jamie is upset and depressed. On the other hand, Dick works with the data he obtained from the Blood Bank. On the other hand, Mayhem goes to Blood to ask him how he can be so calm after the Titans have destroyed their third base. He claims that his plan has been nine centuries in the making, and that there are always those who oppose him. He goes on to tell her that he is always victorious. After that, Blood kills the reporter seen by Nightwing in the collected data. He then hangs the dead body over his bathtub and bathes in the reporter's blood. Meanwhile, Jame, Tara, and Beast Boy walk together, wanting to go up to their tower. But James says his parents have volunteered to help the people in his town. He then adds that he also wants to volunteer and do that as well. On the other hand, Brother Blood's machine starts to get its power from the blood of another person. He transfers it all to a man named Jericho. The experiment is successful. Blood is ecstatic to see this and desires to become the most powerful person on the planet. He wants to become equal to God and also refers to himself as God. As his hard work becomes successful, Blood is so overjoyed that he declares that it is time for him to progress from immortality to glory. But Mother Mayhem, Brother Blood's wife and assistant, shoots Jericho in the head and eliminates him. She doesn't want anyone other than her husband to be as powerful as a god. Just then, Brother Blood hires the mercenary Deathstroke to deliver the Titans to him. Deathstroke, who survived his apparent death a few years ago, still seeks vengeance on Damian Wayne, the new Robin, for replacing him as Ra's al Ghul's heir before betraying the League of Assassins. Deathstroke keeps an eye on the Titans through his double agent, Terra, whom he rescued after her parents turned their entire village against her and tortured her. When Damien becomes suspicious of Terra's actions and begins following her, that's when he's confronted by Deathstroke. The two then fight until Terra subdues and captures Damien. One day, all of the Titans will be practicing. Terra is so powerful and energetic that she ends up hurting Beast Boy. Soon after, she feels very dizzy and goes to rest. When she wakes up, she behaves differently and apologizes to Beast Boy. When Nightwing hears about the incident, he says that Terra needs more practice. However, Starfire disagrees and says that Terra has a problem. Then, while Terra is walking alone at night, Robin follows her. Terra notices this and confronts him, asking him why he is following her. In response, Robin replies that he simply wishes for Terra to inform him what is going on with her. He inquires if there is something that she wants to share with him. 
While conversing, he is suddenly attacked by a Deathstroke. Robin fights him and hopes for Terra to help him fight, but Terra shockingly assists Deathstroke. Robin is stunned and asks her why she betrayed the Titans. That's when Terra claims she has never stood by their side and that she has always worked for Deathstroke. Terra and Deathstroke defeat Robin and abduct him to continue with Blood's mission. Terra then remembers her past, when she was surrounded by villagers who were going to kill her. This was all because she was so different from everyone else. They thought that she was a demon and wanted to end her. But Deathstroke saved her, and from then on she grew up working with Deathstroke. Terra grows up, and falls in love with Deathstroke. As the years pass, Terra works for Deathstroke and agrees to all of his wishes. The Titans, on the other hand, are sadly unaware of this. They also have no clue about the disappearance of Robin, as Deathstroke cleverly sent Nightwing a message from Robin's phone stating he was fine. Despite their welcoming attitude, Terra initially acts cold and distant towards the other Titans, but eventually warms up to them. Raven approaches Terra and tells her that she can help her with her nightmares, which are constantly bothering her. She advises Terra to practice yoga and meditation before inviting her to the common room. Terra is terrified when she enters the common room, but she is also taken aback when she sees the welcome party for her. It's her one-year anniversary of joining the Titans. Terra kindly expresses her gratitude to everyone and begins crying. She is overcome with emotion as she realizes how much everyone loves her as if she were family. Towards the end, they all take pictures, cut the cake, and celebrate as a group. During her one-year anniversary celebration with the Titans, she shares a tender moment with Beast Boy and kisses him. After this, the two gradually form a relationship. Much to the Titans' shock, Beast Boy is kidnapped by Deathstroke while attending a convention to record a podcast with filmmaker Kevin Smith. Blue Beetle is also kidnapped from the soup kitchen where he works, whereas Starfire is kidnapped at the apartment she shares with Nightwing. Meanwhile, Terra has had Raven apprehended at the Titans' headquarters. Before Deathstroke ambushes Nightwing, he learns about the conspiracy and Blood's plan. He finally realizes that Deathstroke is the one who kidnaps all of the Titans. Finally, Nightwing and Deathstroke square off and fight. Nightwing eventually wins and flees, but Deathstroke doesn't stop. He follows Nightwing and shoots him in the chest. The gunshot is fatal, so Nightwing drowns at sea. Because of this, Deathstroke thinks he has passed away, but he actually has not. Luckily, Nightwing had a piece of wood under his jacket to keep the bullet from hitting him. He had only pretended to be hurt all along. As he was outmatched, Nightwing managed to escape by faking his own death. Terra and Deathstroke finally bring the captured Titans to Brother Blood, who intends to become a godlike figure by absorbing the Titans' powers. Sometime later, Terra runs into Robin again as he struggles to free himself from the trap. She is about to murder Robin to make sure Blood's plan works, but that's when Deathstroke intervenes. The two converse while Terra packs all her belongings. As she's doing so, he looks through almost all of the photos she has. Among them are her Titan's memories. Terra knows that her mission is complete, so she deletes all Titan's photos. Just then, Brother Blood starts giving a speech about how he will become a god. Everyone in the audience begins cheering for him. Terra and Deathstroke stand in front of Brother Blood's machine which contains five titans. Finally, the titans come across Deathstroke, who introduces Terra as his new assistant. The others are taken aback. They find out that Terra had betrayed them, as she had been a double agent all along. This is being watched by Brother Blood and Mother Mayhem. Soon after, Brother Blood begins draining the titans' powers with his followers and Deathstroke present, but he states that he requires one more member to proceed. As Deathstroke was unable to capture Nightwing, Blood's machine is unable to function properly in the absence of a sixth titan. This is despite the fact that neither Nightwing nor Robin have any powers that might need to be used. Deathstroke clearly understands what Brother Blood means, so he lets Mother Mayhem shoot Terra with a needle. He very slyly betrays Terra by allowing Brother Blood to apprehend her. This would allow Blood to finally work his machine, completing the deal between the two. When Brother Blood activates the machine, it appears in the center of the arena. All of Brother Blood's followers keenly watch the scene unfold. Meanwhile, the Titans are all struggling to escape the machine. But just then, Brother Blood's machine starts working, which inflicts severe pain on the Titans. Brother Blood finally enters the machine, intending to turn into a god. Suddenly, Nightwing unexpectedly intervenes and breaks the machine. All of the Teen Titans are excited when they see this. The others get rescued, but Brother Blood has already absorbed their abilities. After rescuing the Titans, Nightwing and Robin battle Deathstroke, while the rest of the team battles Brother Blood, who has gained godlike powers. The Titans fight the villains until Terra intervenes, attacking Deathstroke furiously while surrounding him with massive rocks in retaliation for his betrayal. Deathstroke dies after saying his final goodbye to Terra. Even Brother Blood gets too weak. Unable to see this, Mother Mayhem shoots him in order to end his pain. In the end, Mother Mayhem holds Brother Blood while they both pass away by getting crushed under a massive rock. 
Terra also feels guilty about her allegiance, so she stays put while Brother Blood's temple crumbles. In the epilogue, Beast Boy appears on Kevin Smith's podcast and speaks with the host about the Titans. He mentions the team's wonderful new member and how much he will miss Terra. All of the Titans finally go back to having a happy, and peaceful life. During the post credits scene, it is shown that Jericho has survived the bullet Mother Mayhem fired at him. His eyes glow, making him much more powerful than before. 